Hello YouTube, it's Soaring Moon here with a video about Trove. As you can see, I've reached 10k power. Um, this video subject is going to be... <laughs> we got a countdown from Drac. Um, to the video starting, but it's already done that. Little does he know. Alright, so things you need to know about Trove from day one. Uh, basically, this is going to be a tutorial on things you need to know from the beginning of the game in order to do well in Trove. The first rule, of course, is that if you're below 20 mastery, ask a player to give you a reference code to put in so you can get your free cl class coin. You get a free class coin for that, just as Miss Mysticals got his class coin. So, if you put in a reference from somebody else's reference code, you'll get a free class coin. Because um, the classes you do have to purchase, um, either with class coins or with um, with credit, and nobody wants to, you know pay into a free-to-play game. So, The second big thing you need to know about Trove is that you're not told this. In your list of things, occasionally there will be free items that appear here every hour. You can go in here and just, when they're available, you click free. Sometimes there will be chests, sometimes there will be um, uh, wooden troves, sometimes there will be boxes with dust in them. Claim them every hour, if possible. Um, next is that whenever you gain your mastery points, starting from the beginning, you're going to get qubits. And you get a you know, thousand, two thousand, three thousand, about five thousand, six thousand, eight thousand, ten thousand, so on and so qubits. You know, you get quite a bit. In addition to that, if you go into your badges, for your gameplay badges, you see every badge here gives 25 qubits, 100 qubits, 250, 350, 500, 750, and it goes down for all of these. You're going to get qubits for all of those things that you do. The first thing you do with those qubits, you need, absolutely need, to go into the flasks page here and purchase Death Defying Vial. Now, I was asked by um, Drac earlier that he has um, he has about 100k HP, uh, but he says he keeps an eye on his HP. But that doesn't matter because if uh, an enemy does 400k damage to you and kills you instantly, then it doesn't matter how pa how fast you press Q, you're going to die. Nice <laughs> with magic damage, stellar gem. That's unfortunate. Plays a shadow hunter. Yeah, uh, but anyway. Um, if you are dealt 400k damage, uh, you, you, no matter how, pre how fast you press Q, you know, it's not going to help you at all. That's Berserker Emblem causing me to auto-attack like that. Oh, I lost Patron before the, the day was over. Oh, well, that's a little weird. Anyhow, the next thing you need to know is that, um, you need to learn how to work the market and um, just as pressing you, you know, um, opening up the marketplace. This is going to be left unchecked by default. Um, in order to search for an item, you don't have to type the full item name. You don't have to type in, right, to search your item because you're obviously going to, you know, you're going to misspell wrong all the time. Um, so you can use partial names. So you can intent will come up with the uh, with the same result. Um, for example, inf will come up with infinium. L flame will come up with primal flame. You only need a partial search, and you must sort by unit price. Like that should be set by default, but it isn't. Um, and it'll tell you the lowest unit price here. So it's basic tutorial stuff. Um, th that should be told to you from the beginning of the game, it's not. Um, other things that you may not consider is that, um, so every week there are contests. And you see that there's, um, if you press K and go to, you know, contest, this is for this week, 
you'll get rewards based on um, what you have done this week and in, in relation to contests. So if I get rank, um, I have Ice Age here, 34. Let me go ahead and unequip my equipment. Pop over to Ice Age. Equip all the stuff. Pop back in here. You'll see that Ice Age has now reached 23,000 ranking for that. It's probably going to get higher than that, to be honest with you. I don't know how long, how fast it takes to update. But I doubt 3,000 is going to be in that placement. Point is, um, yeah, see there, I'm ranked 2,000 um, for Ice Age. Um, you're going to earn every tier that you increase. So, it's good to know. I'm messing up my video. Being all loud. So that's all you need to know about the contests. Actually, you know what, one more thing. About these contests is that you have blocks placed this week. For the blocks placed, um, whenever this will change either to blocks placed, blocks destroyed, infinium mine, stuff like that. So if you go into um, the market during this time of the week, if I search any of the primal blocks like uh, primal gray is 300 per stack right now. Uh, that's because people are buying them to place them to uh, get ahead in the block placing contest. And whenever you, there's a block destroyed contest, the price of bombs will go up and mark it. So if you know those things, you can you can earn flux just by um, by selling the ton of extra blocks that you earn over the course of your gameplay. So that's a good tip to take hold of. My final tip here is in relation to the experience you gain for just playing the game. So, for example, if you go here, it says it requires a power rank of 250 and it suggests a class level of 10 to 11. So if we go here, um, drag power and level. Gonna answer. What's your power and level, man? Okay. So it's about 5k, level 26. So if you go to this portal over here, you'll see that he's level 26. And see the suggested level power rank 2500. If you if he has 5k power, and I know he does have 5k power because I just went into um, U8 with him, so he has the capability of doing that. Um, but if you have 5k power, uh, you, you need to go to the suggested level higher than the current one, if that makes sense. So if your level is um, 14 and you have higher than 400 power, you need to go to Uber 3 or you're going to be losing experience. You don't go to Uber 4 because it gives you the same amount of experience as Uber 3. Um, if you don't meet the suggested class level. So you can, if your level is 14, go up one higher to 15 to 17. If your level is 22, um, go from Uber 5 to Uber 6, but not to Uber 7, because that'll give you an experience penalty. This will give you an experience bonus. Um, basically, Uber 7 and Uber 6 will have the same, give you the same amount of experience either way, so um, why would you fight the harder enemies and do more work for less gain? You know what I mean? Uh, when you have power and level, it will be in video. Alright, that's the basic gist of that. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll make a new video to explain stuff if you need me to. Alright. Bye, guys. Where you at? Nimble Nimbus.